Hello everyone. So this is Rajkumar from Bimolad. So we are seeing in the next series of the parametric family creation, which is how to create a repeat parametric duct elbow family. So today is going to be interesting topic like uh, uh, the previous one. It's uh, it's much uh, advanced one or uh, much constrained, uh, much constrained we have comparatively with the previous one duct cab if you're not familiar you can uh, see in the playlist which is available in the description below so this also uh, video also describes only on a uh, mitre elbow uh, duct to mic mitre elbow so if you can see that it's already existing sample model so uh, we will be able to learn uh, things like uh, constraining and creating the uh, parameters and how to create the solid sweep and you can use these uh, trigonometry formula at simple formula which uh, calculates the duct length so it's it's a very simple formula so the simple model we're going to model so let's start with uh, the first one so as usual so like close this one and save start with the fresh projects families and I'll go with the metric template and save it as duct my third elbow family and option number of pack of will be one okay save it and the second important thing is that setting the category and it is a duct fitting category so we have that over in this place and the third important setting it is part type don't forget to apply this option so the rivet will identify based on this one elbow say ok so we're going to do a elbow family which is a rectangular for a duct so this is an important one so as many of you know that this is the center axis of a family which is comes with the template so it defines the origin you can see it and the other one and our family is supposed to be on the same positions like in this place and we can create a yeah, reference plane over on the other side create similar you can use CS or right click create similar on in this place like this one so we need couple of parameters uh, say duct width and it's supposed to be a instance HVAC and duct size say ok the other one it is duct HEIG HT HVAC and the next one is duct size and it's supposed to be an instance save ok so we can keep it as maybe uh, 300 by 200 200 by 200 so 200 by maybe 300 by 300 and the next settings is that uh, if you need that you can give a uh, duct and shoulder the shoulder length it's supposed to require and you can say that it's common length also you can keep and uh, it's supposed to be a type or instance anything that you wanted I'm keeping it as a type and uh, the next thing is that duct length parameter and we're going to use it as a length for a uh, secondary position so we can keep it as length one and we can say it as a length we are not going to assign it for a duct connector so we can keep it as common length and say it will vary family to family is it very family to family and we can keep it as type also. the other thing is that uh, 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 the formulas 
so the duct length will be calculated based on the uh, duct width and the parameters what we have so the formulas will be a simple uh, trigonometric formulas that uh, we have so the same formulas which we used in uh, our BIM modeler uh, duct elbow families and we are following up with uh, live sessions continuous live sessions so you can follow those uh, duct uh, uh, sorry pipe elbow families so it comes in our channel so you can subscribe because we are following up with many tutorials we have and the same simple formula so we want to find out opposite side so the formula will be that uh, tan angle into adjacent side say we're going to find the tan angle <laughs> that length say it will be tan we need an angle parameter so before doing it and so type as angle and common it will be angle dimensions so the value will vary depends on this instance so let it as instance we can keep it as 45 degree and the length will be tan it's supposed to be case sensitive by 2 into duct width is that right yes divided by 2 plus shoulder and if any case we can copy the formula and say ok yes for this case only <laughs> so it's supposed to be a instance that's what it says so we are using instance parameters so keep it as instance hope this will work yes and we are in the center position if this is the center position so on the left side we have another reference plane so we can mark it as duct length as we did in a duct cap we need a reference line which logs between these two reference planes so our connector going to be uh, in this position so it's, it's the first primary connector the other one it will be in this position so our cursor while inserting a family will be in this position so let's say align tool so from here align reference line point log reference line point log reference line lock and the next one is that uh, we can draw another reference line over in this position to so behind our position so like this one say so you can draw it in 45 degree and it will be automatically constrained over in this place if it is not you can by yourself lock it with this point if it is moving around so we need a angular dimensions from here to here and we need an a length dimension so I'm trying to pick the points yes yes and this and this one going to be a that length like this one and if you face the text overlapping issues so that you can change the scale value it will be small as you can see it very clearly on the other side this will be an angle for us so any constraints if you are doing that you have to adjust the value and see whether it works or not so let's say 55 yes and say 65 say apply and 90 it works and 
35 it works and let's keep that as 45 so that we can see it clearly okay perfect I'm pressing ctrl s to save the model or this but promising everything looks good except the omni class number if you have a duct fitting omni class numbers that you can assign over in this place so the next one we're going to create a sweep object take this one and we are gonna use pick path we have a path pick path and say this one and this one and it will automatically lock with the object and we can have our own profile so which I don't I don't have it so you can load it uh, in this case I'm going to draw as my own so it will be a duck height and width so like this one and we're going to draw uh, equilateral dimensions between these two lines and between these two lines lock don't forget to lock with the reference plane not the reference line sorry not the, the levels and let's select with this one it's a duct height on the other side this one it will be a duct width okay so let us finish this and we'll go back to the floor plan and see how it looks finish like this one and let us say that uh, we have a shoulder that zero so we can say that it's 20 okay it's good and into the 3d and we don't want to see the dimensions over in 3d so visibility graphics vg or we can simply press vv and annotation category you can turn it off the dimensions it's look very simple and perfect coming back to the same model and we need the, the connectors and symbol and creating a symbol it is very much easy that we need to have a line which is from annotation and symbolic line pick the line and lock the line like this and it will act as our symbol if you see that it's here and the next thing is that connector you can go to the connect in 3d and you can see the model like this and hope this will be our left side this will be on the top side so on the left side we need the primary connectors so create duct connector it's supposed to be a rectangle connector on the face on the other side make sure that this arrow comes this direction and the other side like this so do you see a difference between these two connectors and this do connector doesn't have any cross and this connector has a cross symbol so it defines the primary connectors if you have more than one connectors in a family it is important that which connector have primary so you can select the other one and say reassign primary the cross will go to the other one so but on the left side we need a primary say reassign and one more thing that we require it is that so it's supposed to go from one connector to the other connector so the family defines that the fluid or maybe the uh, mm, uh, the liquid or the air content which goes from this direction and goes out of this connector so to define it so we have to link the connector so from so we have selected already this one the other connector and if you see that a small arrow will show in between them so that we can understand these two are connected and important setting the other one is select those two connectors and define it it is a fitting set not the supply air and the other one so the other settings will be gone don't forget to assign the one more parameter it is angle it's angle 
so our angle automatically whenever the face rotates based on that the connector also supposed to be rotate rotated so safe let's change the angle to the 90 degree see whether it works yes and to the 65 degree yes now our fan it is flexing really flexing well so if there is no error so always when you are creating a family you test it flex it whenever you are creating per uh, constraint basis you have to flex it so let us save this family one more time create a new project save this as mechanical template okay okay so we need to draw that from here to here so if you see that see that the the routing preference it defined with the radius so you can see over in this place and you can create your own elbows from here on the list this is our elbow not our elbow let us type it my third yes this one uh -huh, we are not loaded yet load into project and this is our elbow so if you go nearby the duct it automatically flips and sits in position and if you if if you if i wanted to fix it on our floor plans so or in the routing preference if you wanted to assign a duct fittings so you have to uh, go to the settings duct and radius elbow and you can take miter elbow types and duplicate or edit type simply go and change the elbow family which we created say okay okay now if you try to create a duct and in any angle our family will work so this is how you will be able to create your custom uh, duct families uh, from our uh, requirement so we will be able to create our own families parametric families uh, if you have any doubts on the same family you can give a command uh, uh, so if we will be ad able to address so do subscribe if it helps and do share with the other people so that they learn it and my so my aim it is that uh, simply a single topic learning by a day it helps us to increase our knowledge by day by day so moving towards a big goal and day by day that's what i'm thinking so hope you think what you think so you can write a comment below also that is also you can also join with me on linkedin so the, there are uh, things that uh, we have in our channels you can follow through those component and you can become revit expert so let me know other tutorials so there are there is a tutorial which we are following up with the next weeks the same time uh, revit basic architectural tutorials it will be a basic uh, tutorial you can set a remainder on the same so that will be great so thank you so much have a great day